G'day everyone, welcome back. This is episode 29 of my multiplayer match against Old Crow Balthazor. We're playing Strategic Command American Civil War, the 1879 Ghost of Pacific campaign. This turn will be August 27th, 1880. Last turn, I put up a blockade around a couple of the cities near the big battlefield on land. I'm hoping to draw out some of his ironclads and smash him to bits again. Alright, I gotta know what he's got in there. Um. Only... You. Alright. Oh, did you retreat? I didn't notice that. <laughs> So the ironclad came out, but it, it didn't stick around. That is a little bit disappointing, actually. Um, I was hoping to cure it to pieces. What can we do? What can we do, indeed? What are your land attacks, actually? There's zero, that's alright. Um, what, what should we do now? I have a... yeah, I have a regiment in the build. But that alone won't be enough to capture anything. Well then... Perhaps the move to go for is just the land blockade here. If he's, if he's not going to do anything more than, than raid with his big ships then I don't need to do anything more than hold my position. Um, George Patton is screaming at me while I say that. <laughs> With good reason. Because eventually these ports will be so worn down that they'll be worthless. Oh, do I send a cavalry in? How good supply going to be if I do that? Not great, not terrible either though. Um, it's appealing, I'll say that. Ooh. All right, well, I'll repair you, get you back in good nick. Um, you need to repair. I want to know what he's got and where. He has one who is behaving cowardly. I think the other two will be here. One and two, and I know he's got a torpedo boat, but I don't know where it is. And he he put up turn one today of the um of these videos, so I have started seeing his strategies. He said he's quite worried about uh, me putting something here and whacking transports, which. <laughs> Let's be honest, I'd love to do that. Um, but, if he's got a torpedo boat up here, then it's never going to be down here and I don't have to worry about it. And that is very, very nice. Well, I've got enough torpedo boats to keep a double blockade up, which will force him, if he wants to actually kill anything, he has to bring both of the ironclads down. And this one can't then get back to port. After next turn, this port's going to be worthless. So he won't even be able to put it in there if he wanted to. Well, he, he could put it in there, but it wouldn't do him any good. Um, so let's throw you forward. Let's put that there. Let's keep wearing down these. I've got plenty of reinforcements. Whereas he's going to have to march things over land. Um, which isn't quite as easy to do. Plus... Given enough time, these will be reduced to zero supply. Then I just pretty much can march in because these are going to be worth. In fact, I'm already seeing some of their supplies just dying, um, which is very nice. Or do I push you forward, maybe? Um, suppose there's no benefit to the road um, 
doing this because the road only what was the button for hiding units um, there, there's no road connecting this to this so I should be able to just push forward and still be in max supply let's do that that might force him to retreat which would be very nice um, I like the idea of keeping him just 10 strength for now um, I'm going to push you forward that puts our supply 6 everywhere which is wonderful repair you repair you repair you I wouldn't be surprised if instead of attacking this one he goes for this one since it's half strength um, wouldn't be a bad choice it's probably the only one he's got serious chance of killing they, these two will have their um, plus 40% attack bonus but a against the division the odds are going to be dreadful whatever he does um, I'm going to put you forward just to fill some space up um, so I, I don't want them retreating just a little bit I if they're going to retreat I want them to to get like right out the way so I can swap in a new unit next turn um, alright I've still got this unit on the boat but there's not really anywhere to put it I, I wouldn't mind keeping it just as a floating reserve so I can drop it in here when I do finally beat the unit in front of it out the way. Um, supply over the mountain, I don't think he's going to swing around and hit, hit this. He could, but the counter-attack would be... It hurt him just as badly, if not worse, than anything he could do to the HQ. So I think we're pretty safe in that regard. Um, what do I have coming? I have a couple of units coming. Those are maxed out. TVs won't come until early 81 at this point. Probably too late to make a difference if they're going to. What did he buy last turn? Around 25. That'd be a battalion. Alright. That's not going to make any decisive difference to anything. Um... Fighting spirit doesn't do anything this campaign. I mean, it's there, but it's you're never going to get low enough to matter. Um, let's just keep the blockade up then, I guess. Starting to have shades of the Paraguay War. No, it's not. The the entire Chilean Peruvian armies are like the size of. The forces that were lost on the Battle of Teuti alone at, at Paraguay. This is... You have to get much worse than anything we've seen to get anywhere near Paraguay. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm really happy with where I'm at, so... You know what? I just had a, a nasty little idea, but one I think I can do something with. What I'm going to do, I'm going to pull you back to repair him. But what I'm going to do then, is I'm going to put the ironclad here. He's not going to know that it's there. But he might see that this torpedo boat is on 7. That's decent enough odds that he might bring the, the ironclad around, hoping to break the blockade by killing this. If he brings that there... Actually, do I, do I put it there? If he, I suppose he'd have to go here and here. I think he'd be more likely to occupy those two. So let's put this here. If he comes down and attacks this... It'll get ambushed by this ironclad. 
this thing will get spiked, and then we can kill it next turn. Uh, could work. I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm going to put this just out here just to stop anything from slipping through. Um, I reckon that that could that could bait him. If not, well, he still doesn't know the ironclad's there, and I can do something with it next turn. All right, I'm pretty happy with that. So let's end the turn. See what happens. We have trashed the port, trashed the supply and those mines. Well, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.